is hot out there. We don't need to tell you that. Our planet has just experienced the 16 hottest days on record. But extreme heat isn't just in the air. About 40% of our global oceans are currently experiencing a marine heat wave. So joining us from the Florida Keys is the managing editor of our climate unit, ABC's chief meteorologist, Ginger Z. All right, Ginger, you're trying to cool off there on the water. The marine heat wave is a new term for many of us. So tell us about the extreme heat there in South Florida. Well, that's the thing, Rachel. It is not cool in the water. It's not cool on the land. And that has not allowed South Florida especially to cool down at all this season. There's a lot going on here. Let's talk about the air temperatures first that are just obliterating records. Marathon Florida, for example, has had 15 days in a row of 95 plus, something they've never done. 97 degrees plus for nine days in a row. Uh, again, I want to take you to the maps because this helps to explain what exactly is happening. Air temperatures are going to keep getting hotter for the next, uh, really, weeks because usually the hottest is now through August, right? But if you look at what's happening in the actual water temperatures, we are already four to seven degrees above the average temp. So what happens when we keep adding the heat, when we keep seeing that addition? We've seen a 98 degree water temperature unbelievable. Obviously, there are major impacts from that, but we're also, of course, going to see uh, the death of the coral, which we'll talk more about and what we're doing here today, really. So what are the biggest concerns for these extreme ocean temperatures? Right. So number one and most immediate is coral. We're about to get on a boat and go on an urgent coral rescue. My friends at the Florida Aquarium, as soon as I saw these water temperatures heating up so much, I called them, I said, what are you doing? Because they usually plant baby coral to help the restoring of the coral reef, which has had struggles in years past. Well, they were down there two weeks ago at a depth of 25 feet, the water temperature was 90. When you have that, it is not safe for coral to be planted. It's not safe for coral to live. It, it gets zapped of its food source and then bleached. And you say, okay, well, I don't really understand a coral reef. Well, a coral reef is obviously very integral to marine life, but it is so critical for islands like the Florida Keys and South Florida. It's nature's line of defense, the natural fence that blocks the tidal energy, the surge from storms, which by the way, will get stronger when you've got super fuel like this around. Yeah, Ginger, I think a lot of people are asking, why exactly is this happening and where else are we seeing this marine heat wave? Right, so all over the world, really, but here it's happening in part because we've had the Bermuda High, which is usually further north and stronger. It's been further south and weaker, which has allowed those typical uh, cooling sea breezes uh, to be south of Florida and not right here. Also, when you have water temperatures that are about the same as the air temperature, you don't get the difference in temp, which we call a land sea breeze. So you don't get that afternoon cooling breeze that comes off the water. All right, the chief, Ginger Z in the ocean water is there with us. <laughs> it's good to see you as always, my friend. Thank you. You bet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.